<laughs> Hi there, this is Symes. I've had so many requests on Facebook to do uh, some guides on Virtuoso that uh, I promised to do it and I just haven't had time, but now I do. So we're going to do it. So welcome to Virtuoso. This is the best VR app ever created. Unless you're working on CAD designing three-dimensional hospitals for third world countries, then it's probably the second best VR app ever created. But don't tell the British aerospace engine engineers. But hey, anyway, let's get into it. So this is your stage, as you can see, fantastic place to be. We have uh, graphics, we have fractals going everywhere. These things are actually pumping out at the BPM, which we will get to later. Um, yeah, that's pretty, pretty cool. So we're here. What do we do? Okay, so first of all, you see the Y button at the top, or you can use the B button or both. Press it and up comes your menu board. Okay, so we have these headers here. Now play, this is the first header. This is the really important front end. This is where you're gonna actuate your your instruments and some other funky stuff here. But let's go to the last header credits. These are the really important people, especially on this side here. These are the clever ones that got everything working. And uh, if you want to talk to these guys and girls, uh, Discord, the place to be, hit them up. Well, not literally hit them, but you know, say hi. They uh, respond really well. And uh, these guys have uh, helped with the back end and what creates the music is the synthesizer. It's a uh, it's pretty cool. So say hi to those guys. Uh, really interactive. Uh, visit their website. They've got some good stuff on there. So next header, tutorials. So here's some starting tutorials to, to get you going. I intend to fill in some of the gaps in between that, but these are fantastic to, to watch and to learn. And they helped me a huge man when I was started uh, playing this. So next header preferences okay now we're starting to get into a bit of the back end okay so let's bring that a bit closer so here is your sound override whatever volume you have this on it will override what goes on in the app so if i just go to this and let's start the board up for instance it's going to appear over here let me just grab that so you see we have a, we have a set volume but if I jig around with this, drop it down, it drops this volume, but it also drops the volume of the loops uh, as well. So it's a, basically it's an override. It pretty much acts as the same function as your volume control on your headset, but it's it's really good to have. Okay, so where was it? Preferences. So that's that. So yeah, let's have that volume. Um, control of the classic mode, the tilt controls for the pitch. Okay, now you can, that's the way it used to be. You can have that on and tilt for pitch or you can have it off. And I tend to think that updates are improvements. So, but if you are played it before, you probably don't need to watch this, but you know, you can go for that, that's good. And the drumsticks, um, yeah, dim the laser when holding the drumsticks and set the drumsticks back to their default length and angle. And that will become obvious later. So here, the back end. So let's start over here with your tempo. As you can see, my tempo is set to 127. Now you can manually set your tempo, which I've done here, or you can say, nah, I'm gonna do it in game. And basically in game, you uh, hit your looper, you start your loop off, that sets your tempo. When you start, play your M pad or your sound on your board or and whatever, and then hit to stop, that is your tempo. And uh, yeah, it'll be whatever you want it to be. But you can actually set your tempo manually. And you do that by selecting manual, BPM. You can have the haptics on if you want. Grabbing this, it's a little bit sensitive. And choosing a, a tempo. And when you let go of it, you'll feel the haptics in your hand if you have them set. But you can also see the fractals coming out of the, the graphic there are pulsing. To that tempo as well plus you've got this guide and when you're playing you've also got a guide up on your on your controllers here so what is the bpm the bpm is the tempo now in olden days the tempo was uh, basically given to us in latin 
whether it was uh, Lagatissimo, which is like 20 BPM, which is really low. We don't quite go that low. I think we go to about 60, yeah, not to 180 or something. Yeah, 180. Or whether it's Presitissimo, which is like 200 beats per minute. But there is a, a sweet spot, which is between 110 and 130 BPM. So if you're thinking, what tempo should I have? What should I start with? I don't know anything about tempo. Then somewhere between 110 and 130 is, is what they call the heartbeat zone. And uh, a person you know, at work, as long as your work's not too strenuous, shopping, going about your, your average daily deed, as long as it's not too strenuous, that's what your heartbeat is. And the heartbeat always wants to synchronize to the BPM of, of music. And so reverse psychology is to actually try and synchronize your music to, you know, a normal heartbeat, basically. So, yeah, somewhere between 110 and 130. I like 1 to 8, which seems to be sort of a, a really good average. So that's your, your BPM. Now, it is literally just a, a number. It's a, a mathematical number. So uh, music producers, uh, musicians, they can be exactly precise with what uh, what they choose so uh as i say in the olden days the italians it was latin i say legatissimo prestissimo uh the the 110 to 130 range uh which is if uh, allegro yeah but also you have like uh, adagio which is 66 beats per minute to 76 beats per minute i.e adagio for strings by barber which was uh made famous recently by uh, Tiesto and Van Buren and stuff. So, uh, yeah, but modern-day musicians, they don't want to use Latin, so they have modern names for the the tempo, the BPM, like fast and slow and really obscure names like that, or crazy fast and super fast and sluggish and swingy, stuff like that. So I prefer the modern way. But this is the mathematical, uh, I want to match something. So I'll do that and I'll stay within the, the heartbeat zone. Um, and incidentally, I'm trying not to waffle, but incidentally, uh, musicians will use the the BPM to try and manipulate the heartbeat, like uh, chill out music. That's, that's a, a, somewhere between 19 and 110. Uh, beats per minute so uh, people listen to that music the heartbeat tend to synchronize and so they calm down or vice versa if you're out running uh, you're going to listen to something a bit more fast pace or exercising listen to some workout music as faster bpm gets your your heart rate up um, the professional athletes obviously they want to keep their heart rate down so they will listen to music which uh, each track successfully gets slower and slower and slower and try and train the heartbeat but I'm waffling so I'm going to move on off of tempo into this the next most important thing ever which is the scale so as you can see we're set to C minor here if I press that button there you'll see this is the C minor scale now I'm not going to go into scales too much but note the C is here this is the root note or the tonic or tonic if you want to be in the good graces of your music teacher but we'll call it tonic okay that is the root note the C okay and the, basically the scale is the minor scale but let's actually go to C major because that'll be easier so you see the scale change now if you roll over that you'll see here the numbers I'm going to release that for a minute you see these numbers down here. I'm not quite sure about that. We've got C4 up here, which is the middle C. C4. So if I drop this down an octave, that C4 should move to there. Let's get rid of that and re-engage it down an octave. It doesn't. It stays at C3. That's a little glitch, I think. But let's go back. So your root note. So we're in a scale of C major. What is a scale? You might know nothing about scales. So if you don't, it's, it, it, it's not a problem. Basically, a scale is a group of notes that harmonize together. This is, very, this is what they call a chromatic scale. So, and then up an octave, back. Same tone, different pitch. So these are notes, these are tones. This is the same note or tone, but this is up an octave, which is a different pitch, different frequency. 
and one lower. So the scale is in between what they call the octave, which is here and here. Same tone or note, different pitch. Uh, the notes are basically just vibrations uh, on, on a frequency. So the, uh, the, the middle A, as you can see, the middle A, there. 440 hertz, very controversial. But that's what it is. That's why a piano in China sounds like the piano in Canada, because they all like a tuning fork. You hit a tuning fork, it'll resonate at 440 hertz or middle. Hertz. There. So the two pianos sound the same, and everything else is worked off down and worked off up, and everybody's in the same uh, key. So yeah, scale. So um, if I go to here. And obviously we've got all the all the notes here, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then the flats and obviously the sharps as an equivalent, but uh, major. Then we have major and minor, which are the two very interesting ones. And then you have this plethora of others in between. And you can see it changing. Basically, they are a group of notes that harmonize together. And they have different sounds, basically. So the major, it's a uh, it, change back. Oh, right, flat major. Let's go for C major. Bit fiddly. There. So the major scale, uh, it's a bit upbeat. One, three, five. So, um, major scales are good for upbeat music, for dance music, and things like that. But uh, as usual with music, its creativity is our artistry within certain guidelines. So, the opposite of that is the minor scales. If you want to create something a little bit sadder, something a little bit more depressive or more thoughtful, then this scale is. <laughs> Most of the more chill out stuff, uh, the deep house, or, or if that's your thing, uh, and stuff. But um, with all rules, feel free to break them. It's fantastic. That's how we uh, we progress. So yeah, uh, the Dorian is also another really really good uh, reflective sort of. So if you're playing a slower song, you'll go for a lower BPM because you want people to be chilled out and not excited. Um, and then you'll go for a Dorian or a, a, a minor scale or something else that reflects what you want to do. But all the other uh, things in here, experiment with them, go random, experiment. Um, they all do different things. They all give different ambience or uh, different effects like uh, Eastern, Chinese, Japanese, that sort of thing is a different scale or Middle Eastern, they have a different different scale or medieval sounds or, you know, sinister sounds, all the scales are in there. So have a play with those. Um, yeah. And so output sounds, if, uh, you know, PCVR is, is your thing, then you can output to MIDI. You can't have both these on at the same time. You do that, you'll hear note, nothing at all but it's been translated into uh, MIDI on your PC. And then we have finally the play, the meat and drink. And this is the one that, uh, yeah, we have all the fun in. And basically it brings up all your instruments and you can resize them. We're going to get into that into another tutorial. This is just a, a get started uh, your harp there. Let's make that a little bit smaller, stick it over there. You can only have one instance. You can grip it. So open it, the board's already up, just got the organ, grip it, and then you're already in control. And you can have it as big as you want, so you can really get into your music. Or really small, itty bitty organ. If that's your thing, or you're playing in a broom cupboard, that's your thing. Um, yeah. Uh, uh,
microphone, which we're just not going to get. Uh, click them to close them or, you know, close them that way. We're not going to get into the instruments here. Now, this is just uh, an introduction. So, yeah, you can start the cluster. Wave machine. This is the frequency daddy. Um, microphone, yeah. So we have these really important things down here as well. Let's just move him over there. Uh, the song library. Ah, the song library. Continue. So here we have the songs that I've created. I do really, really, really want to go through all that. Not really. Uh, let's just pick one. Let's go for here. Click it. Definitely. Adjust the volume. <laughs> you can, yeah. That's a good one. That's a metronome. I like that one. It's pretty peaceful. Um, so yeah, or you can go to the most popular, but you know, I'm on mine. So this is this actually translates to the community songs. If you click on the most popular on your own songs, uh, it comes up like acid VR. So it's just least popular, acid VR as well. Community songs. Now these are the things that people put up that you can actually listen to and I suggest you do that because some of this, this stuff is fantastic so let's go to newest and this is a, a I do this every time I start up every day um, massively important to turn the volume down because yeah you'll find out why um, so yeah and see what other people are creating and just click on it and I'm going to turn my haptics off because my I want to save my batteries there we go nothing there sonic Play. Nothing there. Hmm. Am I doing something wrong here? Why is nothing working? Ah. Oh. Well, that sucks. Let's try again. Let's shut the board down. That's ruined everything. Ah, it might be something to do with the fact that I'm using the beta. But it did work yesterday. Oh, here we go. And people create some really interesting things. So that's cool. And don't forget to click up here, like it. Support the community. That's cool. Yeah, and just, you know, maybe there's just nothing there on those guys. <clears throat> but anyway, you get the gist. Just keep going through that. And, and you can go to the, the popular ones. Uh, pretty much the, the most popular songs are the ones that have been there the longest so they have more likes and stuff but there are some really good stuff in here oh, we're on number two which goes number one like Blinding Lights by Lateral Noise which is one of the developers that's pretty cool 142 cheers uh, and my own one Acid Tano in there that's, that's pretty cool And I believe glitches on here as well. Yeah, these are there. But I already like that. If I take that, would it take it away? No, it stays there. Pretty cool. So that's the board. Um, your favorites, things that you've, you've, you've saved in there, and also your share song. That's the songs that you've got in your own. My song section that you've uploaded to the community songs. But there you go. There's your songs there. Uh, you can flick through and you can load them. But the good thing about the community songs is let's take blinding lights for instance let's load it and it comes in <laughs> with a bang and you can see how it's constructed what's been used and you can uh, mess around with it where's the playhead there it is <laughs> let's play Remix it. Make it sound terrible. They can 
play it. Add on to it. Plagiarize it. Do what you want. It's all good. Make it your own. <laughs> Repost it. Oh, respectfully. No, it's all good. So anyway, that's the board. And uh, yeah, check it out every time because some really, really cool stuff. Uh, and uh, the looper here, which is uh, what we've just loaded in, which is basically controls the, uh, the music. Um, we will get into that in another guide. But this is the first guide, just running through all the things on this menu board here. The credits, the tutorials, definitely check those out. The preferences, yeah, let's get that volume all the way up there. The track settings, the back end, basically, with a tempo of 172 for that song, yeah. So obviously, uh, lateral noise has set this, and it's in C minor as well back to the playhead where all the fun stuff happens so that's it so uh yeah have fun don't forget to express yourself and yeah catch you next time